What's going on YouTube? Drew here. Today's video, I'm gonna give you the secrets on how we made over $100,000 in photo booth rental revenue last year and how you can do the same. Look, other people charge for this information and I'm not even gonna talk a lot. I'm gonna just dive right into it. The biggest reason, the biggest secret that we, the thing that we did that helped us the most was we did the all day digital photo booth drop off. Literally, it's, just, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a digital photo booth, no prints. The way guests get their photos, text, email, QR code, digital. Just the photo booth, you guys. Then we had everything up as add-ons. The backdrop is extra, prop table is extra. That is secret number one. Why is this important? Well, you know, it's not hard to make six figures in this business, but it's kind of hard to hit that number without any employees. You guys, it was, I had no employees. Maybe three events, I had a friend do it for me, but like, it's very hard to make over six figures and not have an employee. So the digital drop off, it allowed us to literally drop off a photo booth in the morning, go to the next event, drop off another photo booth, then drop off another photo booth. We had up to 10 events in one day last year. That is the record. I think it might be 11, but I'm just gonna round it down to 10. So why is it important to be able to drop something off? Well, think about it. If you're doing a traditional photo booth, you're literally gonna go to your event, you're gonna set it up, and then you have to spend the whole time that the rental is happening there. Taking myself out of the equation and allowing myself not to be there gave me my time back. And it's my most valuable asset. So what I did with my most valuable asset is, I did more drop-offs, did more drop-offs. And this isn't a video where I'm gonna get into more details about the drop-off, these are just the secrets. The next secret was I, absolutely obsessed with landing photo booth events that take place during the week or on Sunday. You can almost guarantee Saturdays will be fully booked. Saturday is like 90% of the events take place on Saturday. So what I did was I reached out to schools. I reached out to businesses. I reached out to like event planners and coordinators and venues and try to land these jobs. So if you're only doing events on Saturday, right? you're limited to how many events you can do in a year because there's four weeks in every month, each week has one Saturday. But if you can land gigs during the week, you can potentially 2X, 3X, 4X, how much money you can make in the year with your photo booth rental business. So that is key. Find the events that take place during the week. Again, I just gave you guys the info. We're not gonna break this down, but these are the secrets. The next secret is I didn't hide my prices. And I think a lot of photo booth owners, they don't put their prices on their website. And I understand you want the client to call you. So, you know, you could, you know, do your little sales pitch over the phone. We absolutely are proud of our low entry price. So I think the fact that we have the all day rental at a low price actually helped us. Next secret was, it's not even really a secret, but it's not common sense. And I see this all the time is I am super fast at responding to potential clients. Literally, I almost will never miss a call, right? When my phone rings, I pick it up, I'm fast. I think there's a misunderstanding that, you know, there's like a 10 minute window that, you know, you can call someone back. But we live in a day and age where Amazon Prime is taking over, where you can literally order something and get it to your house in like three hours. And people just expect to, you to pick up the phone. So you gotta act fast. Another hack secret that, a, a way that we made over six figures last year was, I networked, not what, you, not what you're thinking. I'm not saying I networked with venues and event planners. I networked with other photo booth owners, right? Why is this important? How did this make me money? Well, I made almost $4,000 last year by literally reaching out to other photo booth companies in my area, figuring out what type of photo booth they had and figuring out what their prices were. So. What, we, what I would do is, when if, if I'm overbooked or if I'm on vacation, for example, last year during uh, my wedding, I took three weeks off, right? For the wedding and the honeymoon and all that. We literally had like 10 bookings that we didn't do, 10 to 12 bookings. And I literally just, you know, get the lead. I, I, I transfer them to my connect, my, my, the person that I networked, the other photo booth operator. And then they deal with it. They gave me a cut, about a hundred bucks per event. But I did that about 39 to 40 times last year. That's $4,000 basically generated for, for not even maybe an hour's worth of work. It takes a few minutes to pick up a call. Uh, they're, they're asking for information. All I do is, when's the event? Okay, uh, what time? What are you looking for? 
here's the price. Okay, let me double check it for free. Hang up the phone, call my guy, uh, tell him the info, he's free, I, I connect him, my job's done. You will never make easier money than that, you guys. So these are just some of the secrets. Obviously there's some more, but this is part one to a video. This is gonna be a three-part video. So this is part one. If you guys wanna see part two and part three fast, you have to let me know in the comments. Let me know, just write part two, part three, and I'll make that happen by, I'll make it happen soon.